Hey guys, I have a super cool, fun art activity planned for you guys, and we're gonna make handprint butterflies. And it's super easy. All you need is paint, a paintbrush, and a piece of paper, and a place to put your paint. And my three colors of paint that I got are orange, purple, and red. And what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna paint one of my hands, so I'm gonna put a whole lot of paint on it, and then I'm gonna do this so I can share the paint with my other hand, and then it's gonna go on the paper. And then we'll see how it looks. And then after that, all we have to do is draw the body of the butterfly, and then we'll be done. And it's super easy to do at home, so I hope you guys enjoy. So first of all, I'm gonna paint my fingers, and I am going to use red. So here we go. I'm getting red on my paintbrush. Just like that. And this butterfly is going to be so colorful and so pretty. And remember, butterflies are insects. They have six legs and they flap their wings five times per second. So just think about that. Every second that passes, the butterfly is flapping its wings five times. And like a fly, if you remember, butterflies also have a proboscis. And that is the little piece that comes from their mouth. It is a mouth part. And they use that to drink the nectar from the flowers. So you see this little thing that would come out. It uncurls and it uses that to drink the nectar. So I have my fingers painted red. And now I'm using sparkly orange to paint right here right there. And I'm using a whole lot of paint because I'm going to share this paint with my other hand too. And that just makes it easier for you guys to do it at this home as well. You just have to paint one hand and then do like you're about to clap. And just put it up against your other hand. But just be gentle because you don't want to splatter paint everywhere. I don't think mommy and daddy would like a big paint bath. So just be careful. So I'm getting lots of paint. And I'm coating this part of my hand with it so it can be nice and colorful. And then I'm going to take just a little bit more red. Because I want to make sure there's enough for my other hand. Lots and lots of beautiful red shiny paint. Yeah, that looks better. Now, I'm taking purple. And this part of my hand will be purple. Make sure you coat that paintbrush and make sure you get lots of paint on there. Ooh, it's cold. I love paint though. It just you can just do so many beautiful, lovely things with paint. Sticky. And this paint, it reminds me of grape jelly. What does purple remind you of? When you look at purple, what do you think of? Do you think of flowers or the color of the rainbow? Do you think of food or juice? What do you think of? Do you think of purple bugs? What bug could have the color purple on it? A butterfly. I've even seen a purple beetle. And some flies, if you look at them in the sunlight, their little wings are really shiny and they can look purple. Dragonflies. I've seen purple dragonflies too. Okay, so now this looks like it has enough paint. So I'm going to do this. Just like that. Do your hands together and press them together. Make sure it's getting every little crack and crevice of your other hand going against that paint. Now, check it out. And now I'm gonna press it on the paper. Now what I'm going to do, because there are some spots that didn't fill in, I'm just going to take that and fill it in right fast. 
I promise you guys I will show you when I'm done. It might be a little messy, but I will show you when I'm done. So I'm taking the orange, and now I'm taking the, the red, and I'm just filling it in. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, this is your art project. This is your handprint butterfly. This is something that you make. It is yours and yours alone. And no art is ever perfect. It's perfectly yours. And that's all that matters. Okay. So now I have my handprints. And I will show you guys. See? I know it's upside down. Forgive me. But there it is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take beautiful turquoise and make a mess on the marker in the process because I'm still covered in paint. And I'm going to draw the body of the butterfly. All you have to do is draw the little body. Remember, a butterfly has the head the abdomen and the thorax and then this little antenna butterflies also have two antennas and there you have it let me show you guys my lovely little masterpiece Ta -da! so you see this is super easy and fun to do it's easy to do at home and there's your big flapping butterfly. And if you want to even do something more, you can take a pair of scissors and you can cut it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope y'all guys get to do this butterfly. Love, love.